Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another installment of my white water guide for France. The Ardèche is a popular river even for white water novices. Today we are on the way on the section from Rum to the Pont d'Arc. In Rum you can put in at the campsite or as we did a little further down at our campsite. The riverbed is characterized by gravel banks and a moderate flow speed. The boom flows in from the right. The course of the river can change over the years up here so that you sometimes pass under trees. When two bridges appear after a left turn, you have reached the mouth of the Chassisac. The first bridge was built for the railway and is now widely used by cyclists. Below the second car bridge, there are campsites on the left and right. At the foot of the Samson Hill, which is visible from afar thanks to its antennas, the river curves to the left and the backwater of the weir soon begins. From here you often paddle on flat stretches above the weirs. If you're unlucky there is also headwind. There are five weirs down till Vallon Pont d'Arc, all of which are equipped with boat ramps. The entrances should be clearly visible up to midwater. This becomes a problem at higher water levels as the weirs then create enormous backflows. The first weir at Samson has its ramp in the middle with the water flowing to the left. It can be portaged on the right. Afterwards it continues with a few waves. Once you have reached the other side of the hill, you approach weir number two. There is an old mill on the right. The boat ramp appears to be in the middle of the river, but a wall extends from the left bank to the slide. It's easy to move around on the left side. At the bottom you have to go under a low stone arch bridge which may not leave enough room at higher water flows.
After a long left bend, you reach weir number 3. The boat ramp is again in the middle and it can be a bit difficult to portage around on the left. Once you reach the bottom, you are already within sight of the fourth wheel. It can also be portaged on the left and the boat slide is on the left half. Not to be confused with the fish pass, which is even further to the left. You have now reached the town of vallon bon darc By turning right, you reach the last wheel. Here you have the option of using the boat slide on the right or the slalom route on the left if there is enough water. It can also be portaged along the slalom course. banks are more natural, even if many campsites and boat rental companies still share the embankment. Towards the end of the town, the Ibi flows in from the left. From here, the great gorge of the Ardèche begins. It becomes increasingly gorge-like and also a bit more sporty with surges and large boulders. High point is about 4 kilometers below the weir with the Pont d'Arc. A huge natural bridge where the Ardèche has carved a passage through underneath. As expected, there are also a lot of photo tourists here. There is a car park above the Pont d'Arc, but it has a height limit. About 500 meters below the rock arch there is one without. The route is a little longer on the road. Parking fees are correspondingly high and when the weather is good the parking spaces are also well occupied. So it's a good idea to secure a spot early on in the morning. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!